This video provides a basic overview of ADS-C in a FANS environment using the Honeywell FMS 6.1. For information on the other aspects of the FANS data link capability on the Honeywell FMS 6.1, refer to parts 1, 2, and 3 of this video series. ADS-C stands for Automatic Dependent Surveillance Contract. ADS-C works by setting up contracts between aircraft and the ground stations. These contracts specify the type and content of the information reports that are sent from the aircraft to the requesting ground station. For the most part, ADS-C works in the background and is generally transparent to the flight crew. In airspace where ADS-C services are available, pilots generally do not need to send position reports using CPDLC or voice unless required by regional supplementary procedures. Prior to logging on to an air traffic service center, Pilots should check to see if ADSC services are available, and if so, ensure that ADS is armed in the logon page. To arm ADS, access ATC Logon Status Page 2 and push Line Select Key 3R to arm ADS. Once in route and a connection is established with a ground center that uses ADS, and that ground center establishes an ADSC contract, the scratchpad message ADS Established is shown. The ADS connection status can be viewed at any time by accessing ATC Logon Status, page 2. In this case, since an ADS connection is established, the status changed from armed to active. Once ADS is active, any established contracts can be viewed on the ADS Review pages. To access the ADS Review pages, access the ATC Index, go to page 2, and select ADS Review. The ADS Review pages contain information about the established contracts. The type of contract is shown here. There are three types of contracts, Periodic, Event, and Demand. In addition to these, an aircraft can initiate emergency reporting, which is just a special case of periodic reporting. Once a periodic contract is established, the aircraft sends the requested information to the ground station in a time interval specified by the ground station. In this case, the time interval for the transmission is 1,792 seconds, or approximately 30 minutes. The address field contains the seven-letter address of the ground station. The gold document can be used to cross-reference the address with the center identifier. In this case, this address corresponds to Shanwick, which is correct. The Message Content field contains the information that the ground station is requesting from the aircraft. When setting up the contract, the ground station can request various data to be reported, such as aircraft position, ground speed, and heading, etc. Push Next to view the next contract. This contract is an event contract. When an event contract is established, the aircraft sends a report when a specified event occurs. When establishing the contract, the ground station chooses the event and the data to be included in the report. In this example, the ground station will be notified of a lateral deviation of 5 nautical miles or a waypoint change. Information on the ADS review pages are not modifiable by the crew. Another type of contract that can be established is a demand contract. A demand contract is a one-time contract set up by the ground station requesting certain information from the aircraft. It can be thought of as the ground station pinging the aircraft for data. Most demand contracts are satisfied immediately and will not be shown in the ADS review pages. Turning ADS-C off cancels any ADS-C connections with the aircraft and will prevent an ATS-C from establishing a connection with the aircraft. Pilots may want to switch ADS-C off when flying in airspace that does not offer ADS-C services to prevent any inadvertent ADS-C connections. By automating the reporting of data to air traffic service centers, ADS-C greatly improves the efficiency of the air traffic system.